Well, hello, and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of this wonderful Thursday on that September 10th, 2020. Hi, I am Russ, and let's give you a little overview of what's going on here. President Trump wants to issue more executive orders for unemployment, for unemployment money that is basically going to be on top of the current unemployment that's already out there from FEMA. And this here. The IRS is sending out 9 million letters to people who need to claim their first stimulus checks. And from the employment data that was released today, there is a total of 884,000 new people applying for unemployment. And this is actually slightly worse than last week's. Because currently we have 29.6 million people on un claiming unemployment benefits. And Trump has admitted that before the very first outbreak of COVID-19 in the United States, that he knew that it was deadly, he knew it was highly contagious, and that he also admitted that he downplayed the whole thing. His excuse was because he did not want to panic the people, or let's put it this way, he didn't want to panic the world. Like every president or every prime minister or every queen across the world actually listens to our president when he panics. I mean, please, I don't even think his wife listens to him when he panics. Let's see here. The IRS, they are sending out letters next week to 9 million people telling them to fill out the 2018 2000, or 2019 tax returns in order to get the very first stimulus check. If they fail to do this, they can. They will be waiting until next year to get their very first stimulus check. President Trump and the White House want to issue more executive orders because they believe the progress in the Congress is going too slowly. And I hate to say it, but they actually are right. Progress in the Congress is going very, very slowly. And I'll get a bit more of that in here in a bit. Let's see here. The basically the, what the um what the executive orders are or would be for would be let's see here a bailout of the airline an airline company yeah he wants he's gonna spend billions of dollars to bail out an airline company okay and on the other thing considered is more unemployment money. Just like the one currently in effect. The White, the White House said that they aren't limited to just those two executive orders. In other words, they're trying to say that, yeah, we are going to actually issue more executive orders because Congress is moving too slowly. Well, if, if you remember I said earlier in this video, how President Trump downplayed COVID-19, well, he's moving a bit slowly himself. Because all this should have been done when the Heroes Act came out, instead of them taking vacation after vacation after vacation, making the people wait, suffer, and starve. But there's enough about that one there. <laughs> but let's see here. I got lost. Those are two executive orders, but those are the ones that are being. But, the two executive orders I talked about are the ones that are being seriously considered, the unemployment and the bailout for an airline company. The other executive orders being thought of are money for school vouchers. That's the all the information on that one, money for school vouchers. And to modify the payroll tax cut to help employees. Well, that's fine. Don't give them one. Because you're going to screw them in the first place by doing that. And if you remember last Friday, President Trump said that he found $259 billion and how he would actually like that money to basically be sent out as soon as checks to the people. And he wants to get Congress's approval and, you know, all other crap he's talking about. Well, the money for these executive orders and the $250 billion that is still sitting inside the CARES Act collecting dust are two separate pools of money. So basically what I'm saying is they've had this money sitting around since the CARES Act and have done nothing with it. I mean, how is that fair to the people? 
I mean, come on. That's enough money to give another round of stimulus checks to the people. So we wouldn't have been so so bad off as we are right now. Really? What's Trump's problem? I mean, come on. I mean, what's Congress's problem? This is money that's already been allocated to a fund. Well, just reallocate it to stimulus checks to the people. Because this way we could have had a lot more people still alive. They didn't die from starvation or a lot more people in the houses that haven't been evicted yet. Because as you know, the CDC eviction ban has, is only protects those people that actually fill out the paperwork that says that they are victims of the COVID-19 or coronavirus hardship. Any other renter out there is not protected by that. And they want to give more money to unemployment on top of the unemployment they're already getting? I mean, come on. The, you got the essential workers out there. I, I'm one of many in the company I work at, which is a small company, but in a whole, we are just a small number of people that kept this country alive, and our Congress and our president doesn't want to recognize the hard work we've done by saying, yeah, well, here's a nice little pat on the back. Oh, and here's a little bit of ching-ching for your pocket for, for risking your life and that of your families to keep us alive. How nice of Congress and the president, do you think? And let's see here. Basically, the Congress has um, they already they already voted on the smaller stimulus package, and it did not pass. It was based Mitch, uh, Mitch McConnell was hoping for a sixty was hoping for at least fifty one fifty two people to vote for him. They needed a max of sixty or above to pass it. It was passed fifty two to forty eight, and fifty two was yays, forty eight was nays. In fact, I'll actually bring up a picture of it. So, in case in case you're interested, I'll bring up a picture of I'll put a few still shot pictures in here that that to let you see what I'm talking about. But as I said before, I keep before I rant and rave and go on more and, and bore you guys. You guys have a wonderful Thursday. Please try to stay safe out there. Please do the best you can to put food in your stomach and get some shelter if you don't have it. Because the elements aren't very friendly to the people out there with living them for the first time. Or any time for that matter. So, until next time, you guys have a wonderful Thursday. And I will broadcast again to you guys tomorrow. Bye.